There's nothing left in your past to hold you hostage now. Your past is where it belongs, behind you, ready to turn to the future. We're going to do three main exercises in this module. We'll start by examining what you're good at, your strengths, and what you are less good at, your weaknesses. We'll also examine the real opportunities you have and the potential threats to what you want to accomplish. You've probably recognised this exercise already. It's a SWOT analysis. This is a very important step in turning your vague aspirations into concrete, realisable goals. Without doing this, you may find something jeopardises your good intentions, or you may need to develop a particular skill or gain knowledge that you'll need. After this, I'll introduce you to the rocket ship for life. Before we write our goals down, we need to make sure that you have the balance you want in life. I'm sure that as you reflected on the recent years in the previous module, that you noticed something was out of kilter. Some aspect of your life wasn't getting enough attention, whilst another part, usually work, steals all the time. In this exercise, you'll prepare for this and plan it into your goal setting. Thirdly, we'll write your goals down. And by that, I mean you are going to write your goals down. There's a real power in writing down your goals, rather than leave them rattling around your head. If you're gonna make them happen, writing down your goals forces you to clarify what you want. When you go somewhere, whether a holiday or just a drive to the countryside or the beach, do you just get in the car and choose roads at random? No, you started by deciding on your destination, then considered how to get there, what you would need to take with you, how long, and so on and so forth. Writing down your goals will help you choose something specific and what you want. It motivates you to action. Please don't get fooled by that popular book, The Secret, by Rhonda Byrne. It's not enough to think your goals. Put them out into the universe and magically they will happen to you. Sure, God can and does gift you with things accomplished that required no effort on your part. But I know that you want to be able to execute the plans yourself. I found that by writing down my goals and thus able to review them regularly helps prompt me on the next most important action. You get to filter opportunities. As you become more successful, you will get more opportunities. It's a simple fact of life. The more successful someone is, the more new opportunities happen along. But which ones should you pursue? A well-written goal will help you filter those which support your goals and those which might simply distract you. It will help you overcome resistance. You get what you focus on. Do you procrastinate? Do you distract yourself with other, more fun things that give you instant gratification rather than the hard work of doing your goal? There is going to be resistance and most of it will be from you, not from other people or the world, you. If there is no resistance, your goal is probably not going to be that meaningful. Having a well-written goal that you can review easily enables you to keep focus. That's what I'm going to achieve. And that's what I'm going to get when this is done. It reminds you that the instant gratification you seek now isn't worth not getting the long-term gratification from your goal. And you'll be able to see and measure and celebrate your success. Remember when I shared with you about your happy chemicals? You get more dopamine triggered as you make progress towards your goals, but you have to be able to see and measure that you are making progress. Every mile under your belt is a mile closer to your destination and celebrate when you hit those significant milestones. Your brain loves to celebrate. It makes your whole body feel good when you celebrate. Of course, that doesn't mean a bucket of champagne in celebration which counters the effect of all those happy chemicals, let alone what it can do to your liver. No, celebrate with joy 